This is the NNG 12 kW solar hybrid inverter. It was ordered from AliExpress for under $1,200 for the parallel version. It took a total of 20 days to get here in the US. It's going to be a while before I connect everything, so this video is only for the unboxing. Padding looks good considering the gross weight of 27 kilograms. There's a quality control sheet attached. Like many others, this is a rebranded SRNE inverter. It has the body of the ASP 10 kW, but it comes with the upgraded UI from the HESP. Serial cable for parallel communication up to 6 inverters. On one of the sides, there's a Wi Fi dongle. I'm not sure if this is usable. People complain a lot about the connection. Next is the manual, warranty card, and some accessories. There are mounting screws and wire locks for the battery. On the other side, there are two small boxes. These are the current transformers that clamp into the main input. That way, the inverter knows that there's current coming from the grid. For my configuration, I won't be connecting this. There's not much to see on the front. You get a touchscreen and some indicator lights. This is my first time having an inverter of this size, so I don't really have anything to compare it with. SRN are quite reliable, so that gives me confidence. For the connections on the bottom, there's the AC output, AC input for the grid assist with a circuit breaker, Wi-Fi dongle, USB, Ethernet ports, dry connection, current sensing lines, parallel connection, battery input, PV input for two solar strings, and the unit on-off switch. The model I got is the GES 48120M220 500P. This is the split phase 12 kilowatt inverter that supports parallel connection. It has two MPPTs, each one taking 500 volts DC, up to 22 amps. I'm gonna take the front cover off to see what's inside. I don't feel confident taking the top part off. I'll probably end up breaking the screen. With the four screws removed, the cover slides off. The unit is UL listed, so that's good to see. Four wires for each AC input and output. Live 1 and 2, neutral and ground. Next is the communication board. I'm expecting a good compatibility with the battery's BMS. Ring terminals for the battery positive and negative, and a 300 amps fuse. PV input 1 and 2 for each MPPT. Multiple fans on this side. This will probably get very loud. I might end up replacing the ring terminals. These are for 2 off wire, given that the maximum charging current is 220 amps, while the discharge current goes up to 270. There's nothing new in the manual. It covers all four models. They printed it in black and white. You can find the color version online on their website. Alright, that's it for today's video. There's a lot of work to be done to get everything running. So hopefully there will be a follow-up video showing the inverter in operation. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.